Hello again, Year 7s, and welcome to our final session, our final lesson on our series on William the Conqueror. Uh, today we're going to be essentially consolidating and reflecting on the learning we've done over the last few weeks and completing our uh, end of unit reflection and assessment. OK, so today's session is going to be about looking at the problems William faced once he won the Battle of Hastings and ultimately how he actually dealt with those. Yeah. You know, how did he deal with the problems he had, the issues he had? So um, once William had won Hastings, he was faced with a very real issue. OK, um, and that was what to do about controlling the country. Yeah, um, because at the end of the day, uh, it's one thing to win a battle uh, against uh, another country and decide to control and dominate it. It's another one then to actually be able to keep control of it because we're going to be faced with rebellions. You're going to be faced with revolting peasants. You're going to be faced with rebellious earls and barons. And you're going to be you know, faced with uh, logistics and control issues and all sorts of things. OK, so um, the first activity I'd like you to complete. There is a starter task here. There's kind of two starters. Um, it's up to you which one you want to do. Yeah, it's uh, this is your um, challenge for today is to pick which one which suits your learning style best. OK, you can either think about the ways in which people keep control of others today. So think about, for instance, how we keep control in school uh, and make sure everyone's behaving themselves and everyone gets a chance to learn. Or you could think about the country and society today, but actually, how is the government managing us as a population during this difficult time of lockdown? Yeah, what methods of control are used and what have you? Or you could go through the worksheet. Um, they, there's a starter task worksheet, which is a literacy task, and it's up to you to try and work out First of all, the two factual mistakes, that one you might find quite difficult with. This is kind of the challenge task. There are four grammatical errors as well and four spelling mistakes. So get yourself the help of a, a parent or, a, or a, an older or even a younger sibling, or you could do a Zoom call with somebody else online. OK, it's up to you. Yeah. Um, what it, how you go about actually accomplishing this. OK. Um, uh, and what have you. And then there is also a conclusion at the bottom of the stage. So two starters. This is um, kind of a, everything. Anybody could have a go at this. This uh, task is a more challenging task and may require the assistance of somebody else. OK, once you have picked which one of those you want to do. OK, pause here, go away, have a go at that and then come back. OK, so. This is what the uh the challenge started might uh looks like okay so williams problems over the next few slides okay we're going to be going through this together okay um of williams various issues that he now faces in terms of controlling the country that he now has um that he now had won through his battle yeah so we're going to be looking at these each one in turn. Um, you're going to need the information, OK, to help you complete your planning document. More about that later on. OK, uh, but for now, let's go through these issues that William has together. So issue number one. OK, so. My most worthy majesty, I must ask you to help to establish order in the lands of Sussex. I worry that we may have a rebellion on our hands. The people are unhappy with a new ruler and there may have been some people who uh, were attached to your local armies uh, who have it. Sorry, some people who have attacked your local armies and uh, which are poorly defended. Your Majesty ask you to help us defend your lands. OK, and make your kingdom greater still. Your ever faithful and obedient servant, Goyam de Bruyage. OK, so this is the first problem. His armies, his men are getting attacked. OK, they are. Uh, and, um, you know, perhaps they are being ambushed. 
uh, or what have you. So this is problem number one is, is men that he's using to control the country are getting attacked. So they need some kind of defense. Problem number two. My most loyal and obedient advisors are secret advice to the matter of the church. You will know I'm a regular church goer. William was a very, very religious man. OK, uh, I am a regular church goer and believe in the word of God. He has chosen me as king of this great land and now I must carry out his work. However, it seems that not all of the priests in the churches are following my orders. They tell my men that the bishops in the cathedrals have told them to act in this way. The bishops themselves claim that they follow the word of the Pope in Rome. The Pope is the master of the church on earth, so I cannot get rid of him, but I really must have more control of the churches of England. What should I do? So problem number two is William um, uh, is a very religious man and um, Christianity in England was well established before he arrived, okay, um, and it would seem that there were problems with the church in England um, not actually doing as William wished or worse still, some of the actual members of the clergy, members of the church in England might have been telling other people not to listen to or not to follow William. So what could William do about this? This is problems uh, number two is he's got problems with the church. Problem number three the treasury your majesty the costs of defending your kingdom are high we have spent many hundreds of pounds providing weapons and armor for your soldiers on protecting your kingdom and providing the castles for your men to live in okay slight spoiler alert from problem one there uh, now we have to we've run out of money the king must raise more taxes but how much taxes can be raised. How do we know how much tax to charge? We need to know how many people there are in England. Yeah. So problem number three is William needs to raise taxes. He needs money, but he needs to know how much tax he can set, how much he can get away with setting, and ultimately how much the people of England can pay. Problem number four, we've been attempting to approach London for several days now. But each time we reach the city walls, we are beaten back by English fighters. They seem to have lined the southern boundaries of the city, ready to defend. We've got plenty of supplies to keep going, but unless we can actually get into the city, William will never be crowned king. So we had a problem, he had a problem, okay, with London, yeah? Actually getting, taking control of London once he had actually um, won the Battle of Hastings. Problem number five, King William's army is spread all across England. So they're staying in areas where there might have been trouble from the Saxons. Nevertheless, the king needs even more soldiers ready on standby, just in case there is an invasion from another country. He won't need these soldiers all the time, but they might be need to be called up at any short notice. So William's got a problem here. He, he doesn't know how many soldiers he'll need and when. From six, the king will, of course, know that many of the people living in his country are worthless. They don't have any land of their own. They don't do anything to help the king. Before 1066, these men were slaves for the local earls. They worked on the land of the earls, so the earls let them live in their manors. Now, the peasants want to keep farming small strips of land. They cannot afford to buy them or even rent them. We think that they should offer something to the king to be allowed to live on his land. What does his majesty require? And the final problem then, your armies are reaching the furthest parts of England, but in some places there is still trouble. In every country, there is an earl, sorry, in every county, there is an earl who owns and looks after most of the land. These lords are all different, but many were friends of King Harold, and many of them do not want you to be king. For as long as the lords are in control of the land in England, there is a risk they will try and overthrow the king. Something must be done. So these are the seven issues yeah, that William is facing when it comes to managing and running England after Hastings. So over the last few weeks, you've been looking at various different methods that uh, William used to control the country. Hopefully, 
you've already started in your mind to think about the various ways in which perhaps William could actually overcome some of these issues. Let's have a quick chat about them now. So some of the solutions, possible solutions, okay, and I'm not going to tell you which of these solutions solve which of the problems, that's for you to try and work out with. So we've got the feudal system, okay, uh, thinking then which of the problems might the feudal system solve, which of the problems might the doomsday book solve, which of the problems might the Mott and Bailey castle solve, and the Tower of London, yeah, which problems um, might the Tower of London solve, okay. Uh, keyword London there, think back to the problem, which one had the word London in it. All right, so now having reviewed the issues that William had and some of the possible solutions to those issues, it's time for us to go away and plan our, our assignment. So I have attached to this assignment two different styles of planning sheets and it's up to you to pick which one you want to use. So there is, this is planning sheet number one, this one here, okay. This one here, this one that looks like this. This is, this is one of the planning sheets, it is a two page document. Okay, notice it's just a table, an empty table with some bits at the bottom for you to write an introduction and conclusion on it. That is one of them. Okay, the other one uh, is a, like a cyclical flow diagram. Now you can choose which of these two that you would like to use. Okay, uh, depending on your learning style and whether you want to challenge yourself or not, pick one of them. You don't have to do both. Hell, I'm not going to stop you if you want to do both. Maybe if you wanted to say do this one first, okay, to help you kind of collect your thoughts, and then this one second to prepare you for the actual uh, assignment itself, that's up to you, okay? But you only need to do one of those. Use today's lesson and what you've learned over the last few weeks to fill in that information. Once you've completed, yeah, one of those two planning um, tasks, you now need to go away and complete an essay, all right, response to this question here. After the Battle of Hastings, how did William keep control of England? Now, in order for you to help, in, uh, in order for you to be able to do that, okay, you may refer to these planning sheets, this one or this one, okay, yeah. Uh, and the notes over the last few weeks, yeah, okay. You can also use this mark scheme here to help um, direct you and help um, uh, help you target uh, essentially what kind of a level of a, an, a, an essay you want to write. So refer to your planning notes, your lesson notes, Okay, your mark scheme to help you write this particular assignment here. Okay, it should be a multi page document, ladies and gents. Yeah, yeah, bashing it out in five minutes. Okay, before you rush off to another PlayStation 4 session or your next Xbox session isn't going to cut it. Yeah, it needs to be a multi page document, it's going to be at least one paragraph for every problem yeah and uh, you know and the solution so you you're going to be looking at about four or five paragraphs including yeah a um including an introduction and a conclusion so for instance if we look here we've got what uh we've got four topics yeah the conquest of england castles doomsday book and the feudal system there we go right up you've got four paragraphs there then you've got the introduction and the conclusion. So you're looking actually more like six paragraphs. Okay, all right. Once you have completed your assessment, ladies and gents, okay, have a go. Use this mark scheme to, to self-assess your work, okay? 
Um, get somebody else to check it. If you can, if you've got a friend or you can Zoom or a family member or an older sibling who is, is going to be helpful and cooperative, have a go at uh, assessing this piece of work, ladies and gents. All right. OK. Finally, once you've done all of that, you can email it to me. All right. Send it over to me. And I can check your assessment and I can actually tell you whether or not you're on target and I could uh, then make any corrections and offer you some uh, marking feedback. All right. OK, so. Once you've completed all of this stuff, all right, um, once you've been through this PowerPoint, close it down, go away and complete the assessment. Good luck.